I love your message for today. You're gonna love it too. Today we have fall in love with your future. At the bottom here it says use your imagination. So this guy here is crossing the finish line, right? All right, fall in love with your future. I'm gonna read you the content on the back, okay? If you're watching this video, no matter when you're watching it, it's the right time. That's how the law of attraction works. There are no mistakes. And maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's something that you're supposed to send to a friend. So here you go. Your feelings and imagination are incredibly powerful. In fact, nothing is more important than the way that you feel and the way that you imagine your life to be. You can state affirmations all day, but if your feelings are not in alignment with your statements, you will not see much change. Imagine your future self with enthusiasm today. Tap into the joy and feel the extra energy that you will have once you are free of self-destructive habits. Self-destructive habits. Fear-based thoughts such as worry, doubt, shame, guilt, and unworthiness move you further away from recovery. Oh, by the way, these are from my deck, Addiction Recovery with the Law of Attraction, which is a deck that I created uh, with all the te techniques that helped me quit alcohol and food addiction and also toxic relationship addiction. So I figured if they can help me, they can help other people. So that is what I mean by recovery here. However, you can elevate your emotions today if you allow stepping stones. You cannot jump from depression straight to joy, but you do always have the ability to focus and choose better feeling thoughts. The better you feel, the more you will be inspired to take positive action towards your goals. And sometimes these cards are used just to create new good habits, right? It could break bad habits. Every time we do that, we've got to put a new habit in its place, a healthy habit in its place. You got to do something like if it's alcohol, you were going to um, happy hour every day or, you know, maybe not every day, but you're going to happy hour often or drinking often in this place, do something healthy, like go to the gym or some people choose AA. Some people choose just something else that they can do in its place. All we don't leave that void, you know, um, fill it with something spiritual or nature or something like meditation. Just do something in its place. Okay. Take the time to feel your future identity with passion. Expect success and remember that the subconscious cannot distinguish fact from fantasy. Get clear on who you genuinely want to be. Memorize this feeling and play it out repeatedly in your mind. Believe things will keep getting better the further you get out of your comfort zone. Imagine yourself winning the race like the front of the card. Imagine yourself winning the race. Picture it, feel it, use all of your senses. Notice instant evidence of this shift in your life. Pretending it already is will help rewire your brain to move toward your future self with excitement instead of recreating your past with doubt. So again, and I say this all the time, I'm gonna say it again, it is not more difficult to think positive. You've just been practicing the negative thoughts more often, okay? So that's what this is all about, is being mindful, catching yourself, paying attention, pay attention to your thoughts. Don't think the same stuff you were thinking yesterday and the day before and the day before. That's why things never change. You gotta change your thoughts, you gotta change your mind, and then your life will change. But it all starts with imagination, and your feelings, we are electromagnetic beings, okay? Our brains are electric, our hearts are magnetic, and we attract, we attract, whether you believe it or not, that's what we're, just prove it to yourself. Try gaining some evidence by just like noticing, just notice in your day, make it, create your own little project there and notice, wow, I was thinking these thoughts and my day went like this, and I was thinking these thoughts and my day went like this. You're gonna notice that the way you think and the way you feel is ultra important. It really it will guide how your day goes and how it flows. Okay, let me know what you guys think about this and um, in the comments below. Also, I am gonna put a link to uh, purchase this deck if you'd like to use this deck at home. All right, have a wonderful day.